I love this just like little like tuft of sunlight just right on the head there. Just get in the shine. We shining! Hey guys, who's ready to talk about anticipated reads? These videos come around way too quickly. I don't understand how April is literally only a couple of days away, but I'm excited because I have 12 books that I am anticipating for the next three months. But there are actually only books that are coming out in May and June because I don't actually have any anticipated reads for April. Like, there was some, but they got pushed to later in the year and now I don't really, like, have anything that I'm keen for in that month. So we're only going to be talking about the books for May and June and there are six in each month. And I'm just excited to get into this video and talk about some books that I'm excited for, even though I haven't been reading a lot because I think I've read two anticipated reads so far this year, but I've had, like already a lot so we'll see how this goes. The first book I want to mention is Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller which is coming out on the 4th of May. I'm beyond excited for one that she's got another book coming out but this one sounds really really good and I also pre-ordered it because I got a 10% book depository gift card voucher thingamajiggy and I was like yes I'm gonna pre-order some books to get them a little bit cheaper so I only pre-ordered two books and both of them are gonna be in this video but that's because I'm very excited. Basically our main character's name is Ziva and she is a blacksmith and she also has social anxiety so she just kind of chills in the forge, keeps to herself, she hates being around people because she just doesn't like the anxiety that it brings her which I completely understand girl. Basically she's got like magic when she forges things and she gets commissioned to forge this sword but then she finds out that it was actually like a sword that like when it's used can like get people's secrets out of them so she like doesn't want that into the hands of the bad people so she takes the sword and runs off and then these other people like a scholar and a mercenary kind of like join up with her and she's got to kind of like keep the sword safe and try to figure out some stuff so she's going to be around the peoples and I'm just I think it's going to be good. Trisha Levenseller writes such intricate and intriguing stories and I'm excited to see how the characters are going to work out together but it just sounds so good. Next book that's also coming out on May 4th is Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Oseman and this is the other book I pre-ordered because I need it. I want it to be sent to me as soon as humanly possible. Like I need to read it so badly. I need to see how my boys are and I know it's going to be really sad because Charlie's going to have to start dealing with his eating disorder and the anxiety that he is going through at the moment and I'm excited to see how it's going to like bring Nick and Charlie closer together but I also feel like Charlie's probably going to lash out at Nick and it's going to be like really hard on both of them and just like I'm sad for my babies but I still want to see where the story's gonna go like I'm so excited. Okay the next release is also coming out on May 4th but this is the last one I promise that are all coming out on the same day but it's just last night by Maharia McFarlane so I read a book from her last year on audio that I really enjoyed so I hope this one comes out on audio as well but I really enjoyed the story from her that I read so I'm very keen for this and I don't actually know too much about it this is why I'm like googling some of them to make sure I'm giving you the right idea. Basically the way that they're describing it is the characters are Eve, Justin, Susie and Ed and they've all been best friends since they were young and they're now in their 30s and they're as close as ever but Eve is actually in love with Ed and like she wants to kind of move on from it but she hasn't been able to and she's been in love with him for so many years but then in an instant their lives change and this is what's getting to me because it's like does someone die does someone move on does something happen like I want to know what's going on there and they say in the aftermath Eve's world is upended so I wonder if Ed dies like that's my theory right now that Ed may die and then she has someone from her past life that comes into the story and then it's like her future veers off differently like I'm confused by the premise because there's a lot going on but also not a lot so basically there's some accident that happens and probably someone dies and then her life goes in a different direction and I just want to know what the thing is I want to know what the direction what the story what's going on there I'm intrigued and I'm keen to read this. The next book I'm really keen for is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry and this comes out on the 11th of May. So this is the author that wrote Beach Read, which I do really want to read but I haven't bought a copy of it yet but I want it to happen. Basically with this story, Poppy and Alex are our main characters and they are like a very unlikely friendship and I just want to say the way they describe it is she's a wild child and he wears khakis. I'm like, what? Is wearing khakis actually a personality trait? Like when did that become a thing? And it's always the joke that you say oh but they wear the khakis but like literally 
it's there and I'm like what? They are a very unlikely friendship and they've been friends for like over a decade because there's like some car accident that like brought them together or something. Every year they go on a one week vacation together but then two years ago something happened and they have not spoken to each other this whole time but Poppy is like not really been happy since the last vacation like she's been in this real rut so I think that they're gonna go on another vacation and they're gonna have to kind of like get their friendship back to the way it was and obviously something really bad happened and who knows if Poppy did something or Alex did something but I'm sure they're gonna like have a romantic little thing happening there but I'm very keen it just sounds cute and I just like these kind of stories when they have a falling out but then they come back to their friendship or a relationship because I think they were friends the whole time and now it could be something more but it's just the intrigue of what went wrong that always gets me the next book I'm really excited about is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this comes out on the 25th of May and I did mention this book in my seven on Sunday where I did like my top seven of the whole year but all those are going to pop up again for whatever month they actually come out. Basically anything that Taylor Jenkins Reid is going to write, I'm going to buy, I'm going to read it. I don't care what it is. It could be about anything and I will literally pick it up. The premise of this book basically has four famous siblings throw an epic party to celebrate the end of the summer but over the course of 24 hours their lives will change forever. I don't need to know much more than that but the thing I like is there is an easter egg here because Mick Reva is the father of the four siblings and he was one of Evelyn Hugo's seven husbands so I like the way that she is like pulling that plot together and I wonder if he's going to mention Evelyn Hugo because I would really appreciate that. Even though their marriage was very very quick and not a lot happened there but I'm excited to see what's going to happen with him being a father too because like he was always like the rock star singer dude and he was all about himself so I don't know where it's going to go there but I know this is going to be a good story and I'm very excited. The last book I'm excited about is Pumpkin by Julie Murphy and this also comes out on the 25th of May and yes this is the third book in the whole Dumpling series. I haven't even read Dumpling and I haven't even read Pudding but the premise of this one just sounded so good because it's a guy that's going to be going into the like competition that they do and I think it's going to be really cool but I haven't actually gone into too much detail about what the book is actually about and it's more than likely I won't read this one this year but I just think it sounds really epic really good but I don't want to look too far into it because I don't want to like spoil myself for the other books even though I did watch the dumpling movie but I'm keen anyway. <laughs> okay, finally coming into June. The first one I have is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Of course, I'm excited. Red, White and Royal Blue is one of my favourite books. And honestly, I have so much faith that this book is going to blow us out of the park again because she writes so beautifully. This is a story about a train that, like, lets you time travel. And one of the characters is, like, our time and the other one's in, like, the 80s or something. And they only kind of connect on this train. And I've already seen people reviewing this early and saying the time travel element was, like, really, really cool but I'm just very excited to read this and I don't really need to know too much about it I just know I'm gonna buy it and read it and appreciate it so much and it's just like these auto by authors I don't really even need to know about the books too much I just know I'm gonna pick it up and buy it and read the crap out of it and I'm excited next I have Better Together by Christine Riccio which also comes out on the 1st of June again but better and better together aren't related at all even though they basically have the same title which really doesn't make sense to me and I will admit her first book wasn't my favorite I actually had to make a book review because I had so many things that frustrated me about the way she wrote the characters and the story and even though some of it was great some of it was really fun there was just too many elements that just pissed me off but I do want to give her a second chance and I do feel like I would always just read Christine's books until like maybe like three strikes and you're out kind of situation so we're only at strike two so I'm very excited about this, but the premise is really cool because it's Freaky Friday meets The Parent Trap. Our main characters are Siri and Jamie and they're sisters, but when their parents got divorced, they got split apart and they haven't seen each other for over a decade, so I assume they know about each other. Basically, when they finally meet up again, they want to kind of switch lives and then they actually do switch bodies with like the Freaky Friday thing and they start to really like fall into each other's lives and like they have crushes on their other one's best friends and things kind of keep happening and I feel like it's gonna get more complicated as I get through this book but I still want to give it a chance because the premise is very intriguing because I do love The Parent Trap and I do like Freaky Fridays. There are two movies that I really enjoy and it's funny because they're both Lindsay Lohan movies and I just love her in both of them. Next I have another June 1st release because we like to have all our books released on the same day but that is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. It's been an age since she has brought a book out and I am totally excited for this and it's about dancing. So our main character Evie just doesn't believe in love and it's like yes you're a teenager who doesn't believe in love like oh this is so sad but basically 
basically she has this thing happen where she was like looking at this couple kiss and she could see the way that their relationship started and the way that their relationship ended so I don't know if this is kind of like just a one-off or like a thing that she can do that she can see how people's relationships pan out because I think it'd be really cool if there was like a little bit of a supernatural element to it but she ends up going to like ballroom dance classes and she meets this boy X and like he just wants her to be his dance partner for a competition even though he only just met her and then she's all like oh, I can't fall in love with you but like they're probably gonna fall in love but like I eat this stuff up like it's so good and even though it could be corny Nicola Yoon generally does a really good job of the romantic story here and I'm just excited to read about dancing because dancing's fun. Next book I'm really excited about is Fire with Fire by Destiny Story and this comes out on the 8th of June and Destiny Story wrote Iron Cast which is a book I really enjoyed a couple of years ago and I don't think she's had any more books released since then so that intrigued me in the first place but then when I looked at the premise and realized this book's about dragons I was excited. So this book is set like in our world and Danny and Eden are sisters and they were both born to kill dragons and Danny couldn't care less. She doesn't really care that much. She would rather just do her schoolwork and deal with all that. But Eden is just like murderously training to be able to kill all the dragons. So then Danny meets a dragon and forms this bond with it. So now she's like a dragon rider or something. So I'm pretty sure that means that Eden's gonna want to like kill the dragon and bring a sister back so then she wants to kill dragons again so Eden actually does go to a sorceress to be like I need to save my sister so I think it's going to be interesting and probably a dual perspective which would be the best way to tell the story but like dragons like you can never go wrong with dragons okay the next book I'm really excited about is The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson and this book was meant to come out in April and it got pushed to June and I'm really kind of annoyed about that because I want to read this book so badly it would have been next month and now it's two months away so this is the same character from Truly Devious but it's a totally different case and story. So all the characters are coming back to do this case at this camp where like murders sort of start happening or weird stuff starts happening. These murder mystery teen stories generally there's murders but Truly Devious and that case was so amazing and such a good story and every book he kept getting more answers but so many more questions and now it's like there's a new case and they want Stevie to look into the case and it's just like yes. I hope that she keeps writing like little stories about these characters because it'd be so much fun. And the last book that I'm excited about is My Contrary Mary by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows which comes out on the 22nd of June. So this is a totally new trilogy that is away from the My Lady Janies and now it's the My Lady Marys or something. But the first one is about Mary Queen of Scots and I love her since I watched Rain like years ago and I still have not finished that show. I don't know if I actually ever going to because like I keep going to rewatch it and then I don't and then I do and then I don't and it's just like, it's never happened but I've always loved Mary. So in this book we have shape-shifting again because like My Lady Jane had shape-shifters and Mary, our Queen of Scotland, she can shape-shift into a mouse which is very exciting. And then Mary is there and she's like betrothed to Francis but then the king dies and then everything starts to psych a treacherous turn and for the actual history we all know that eventually Mary gets beheaded because of her behavior and it's just like oh so we don't want that to happen and they say here too if Mary's secret is revealed heads are bound to roll so hopefully she doesn't get decapitated because this is what I love about these stories is they take a character that we don't really know too much about that always has like an untimely end and then they shift it and change the story into something really cool and humorous and I'm just excited like I need this book in my life right now so guys that is all of the anticipated reads that I'm like really keen about and I don't know when I'm gonna buy them because I've been really trying not to buy books lately because I'm not reading anything so there's no need to keep buying new ones and I literally have no space left to put them like it is struggles to want to buy the new books but I've got nowhere to put them. I bought some books at the start of the month that were like two of the pre-orders and three other books that have already turned out but really I've been doing pretty well and I haven't actually been doing like a lot of online shopping so I'm proud of myself but I'm still excited about these books. I can still be a part of the hype and just, I do want to read them soon. I'm just hoping that a lot of them are going to be on audio and it will just be so much fun. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.